Feels good to be back here, hey? Yeah. All right, so I've got a really quick but special video for you guys here today. So Crystal and I are on a bit of a road trip right now and we made a little bit of a detour. So I'm sure a lot of you guys will recognize this place. Feels so good to be back here. The original calisthenics park where it all began, where I started my calisthenics journey. <laughs> so for those of you that are new to the channel, you will have to go back a couple years and check out the videos that I did when I first started working out here. I definitely wasn't quite as strong, wasn't as good at calisthenics, and definitely wasn't as good on film. Uh, but I've improved in all those areas since then and that's what life's all about. It's all about growth. So, on pole days, first thing I do when I get to the setup is... So it still feels so surreal to be here. Like we haven't been back here in how long, Crystal? Probably at least two years. Yeah, yeah probably even more. more. Even maybe. It feels really good to be back here. I spent so many hours grinding away here and it was all worth it in the end because I definitely have achieved many goals that I set out to do when I started coming here. So I'm gonna give the camera to Crystal and she's gonna film a few of my movements <laughs> and uh, yeah, it should be a little bit of fun. It'll be neat to see like how much easier some of the movements are now, like if I progress or anything like that because this is actually the exact same bar that I learned muscle ups on and man, it was so hard. I actually started at these lower ones and you know, I worked my way up. I jumped into it from this one. And I got the one elbow up. I got the other elbow up. Ugh. And eventually I progressed to the tall bar and I never thought the muscle ups would get easy, but now they are. <laughs> and it was so worth all the practice. Bang some out. Definitely a lot easier than it used to be. <laughs> so I'll throw some old footage into this video as well so you guys can see, you know, when I started and what I was doing then. I'm gonna do a few more things. It's hot out here though, holy. <laughs> <laughs> So when we moved away, I was just starting to get like press up into handstand on the dip bars over here. So let's see how much I've progressed since then. Oh, I used to do dragon flags on here. This was like my favorite thing. So yeah, I remember that. I'd grab this nice and wide, and then I'd poke my feet through, through the holes. I had the goal of getting a muscle up before, and I got the muscle up, and I've got those now. And my next goal with a muscle up type movement is something that I've seen called the terrorist pull up, and it is, demonic looking, it is insane. It almost looks like gravity doesn't even exist. And basically, you're doing a muscle up, but rather than having the transition here, there's almost no transition at all. And it's just a really explosive pull up. And I guess that's why they're called terrorist pull ups. Yeah, I don't know. I, pull not, up, is that why? Not a great name. Close, I'm not quite there yet. My arms have to get a little straighter at the top, but man, is it ever tough. But I thought muscle ups were tough when I started them. I didn't think I was ever gonna get a muscle up, and then one day I just popped into one. And then I think this bar too is the first place I did the like tribute to Frank Madrano pose. So 
So I think that's just about it. I just couldn't drive by here without, you know, making a little video. And I thought you guys would appreciate it, especially you guys that have been with me for a long time, like seeing this old place again. And what a beautiful place to work out. Like, it was never a chore to come down here, except for when it was raining or snowing. <laughs> the ocean is literally like, you know, 100 meters that way. It's definitely got me feeling like pretty reflective in here because I remember when I started coming here, like I had so much passion and so much drive and not that I don't anymore. I was just so hell bent on getting to where I am now that there was like nothing stopping me. No rain, no job that I had, like nothing. I was coming here every single day working out as hard as I could and it paid off. <laughs> hey Crystal. Thanks for all the times you encouraged me to come down here. There's a lot of times where I probably said, oh, I think I'll probably just sleep in today, or oh, it's raining too much, and I'm sure you were just like, no, get out there and do it. It'll be <laughs> worth it. All right, so we gotta get back on the road. Crystal and I are heading out to the Okanagan for the fruit festival that we're going to, and I'll be vlogging that as well, but I didn't wanna put this in with that because I wanted this video to be on its own. I thought it was a special little video. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for tuning in, and definitely tuning in. What? There's spiders in my hair. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you're an OG and you remember this place. All right guys, get out there, move your body, stay positive, eat plants, much love. All right, all right, I got it, hold on. <laughs> so I had no tricks like that last time when I used to work out here. This is pretty cool. I didn't even remember I could do it. We got in the car. I was like, oh crap, I gotta try that 360 I learned. I learned this at Venice Beach. Yes, awesome. Until next time, Mark. Until next time.